Hello and welcome back to the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox. It was going to be map number three. However, SK have actually won that game 3-0. So they're going to progress to the top of their group. Yeah, that's definitely a huge win for SK. Yes, I mean, that's is. how you definitely want to start the day. I mean, with a 3-0 victory over, you know, Aztec, who, you know, that we were looking to see if those two teams are going to be the two coming out of their uh, pool. Yeah, it, it's kind of interesting to see, like, SK, I thought they were going to start strolling. Like, for me, they were kind of the team. Uh, yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> We've just been told yeah. wrong. We were a little disagreement on how the sex go. It's 2 0. Well, I did think uh, we were waiting for the right, next uh, game. Yeah. We were, I was uh, like, yeah. We are, we are going to be ready for the next game. It will be Blitz. Sorry <laughs> about the confusion there. There was a a, admin, a clerical error. We'll clerical call that ad uh, yeah, in the admin. That was two maps. Yes, that was two maps. We will be joining you with the Blitz very, very shortly as the two teams get into it. So, SK at the moment, 2 0 up. They won the S&D in quite convincing fashion. Yeah, I mean, dominated pretty much the first two matches. You know, they look great on Freight and Dom. They're Raiden absolutely slaying everything. And then Kiwi on Search, you know, Search Octane. They looked very good. Uh, I'm going to be interested to see how they play Blitz. You know, I haven't caught a lot of EU players on how they play Blitz. So, typically, Blitz is, is kind of very, very aggressive. Just yeah. all-out aggression, usually. I think we're going to see, I mean, it's going to be one of these ones where... Are they going to be a bit nervous about playing on the big stage? For me, I think SK are going to be so aggressive at the gate. Yeah. They're 2-0 up. They know they've got these guys in their pocket at the moment. I think they're going to come out yeah. super aggressive. This is the type of game that you can't let it get away. You know, yeah. If you're SK, this is where you want to put it away. You don't want to give Aztec any more breathing room or life. You really just want to end it here in a strong note. You don't want to blow a close blitz game, then it goes to... Another yeah. dom. Well, this is exactly who knows it. what happens here. So you definitely want to put it away. I believe it was uh, Scandi who told me Blitz is the swing map. Oh, wow. You do not want to drop Blitz because so many times that will be it. It will turn around and you suddenly, all of a sudden you tune up and gone. You're three nailed. You're three two down. Yeah, I mean the third map in pretty much any series of just Call of Duty in general is the most important match. Mm -hmm. I mean if you can, I mean obviously you win the first two, you win the third, you win the series. No, but if you split those first two. I would say 90% of the time, team that wins that game three wins the series no matter what. Yeah, I said it's actually, I think he brought up the same statistic. The team that wins map number three will usually win. Obviously, that's skewed because of the three O's, but yeah. that's kind of just how it works. So I'm thinking SK are going to take this. I think they're going to be aggressive, and I think this might be the end of Aztec in this game. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a freight blitz, which, I mean, definitely is the most high, high paced, fast paced blitz game out of all of them. We're going to see four subs. Pretty much no tacticals. We're just going to see run and gun fast yeah, gameplay the entire time. Just everybody's classes there. And it is going to be, in fact, very similar setup. One vector a team. Let's jump on board with Rox first of all. See how he's going to go to war on this blitz. Yeah, you know, the vector is extremely... It's very good on this map, uh, Bryce. You know, you're able to see cross map with that red dot sight. And it's also extremely good at range for a submachine gun. Yeah, it's certainly a lot of people are trying to switch up there. It's, it's always the one, uh, the players are kind of superstition really. They always try to figure out what is the best gun for the tournament. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? No matter what they oh, Rock's picking up a two piece there. Straight They've down. opened this map wide open, and now they're going to rush straight in. It's going to be first blood to SK. And like I said, I think they're going to see this over and over again. Yeah, and this this would be dangerous for the Aztecs. You know, they're not able to get <laughs> Rock's out of there, which it doesn't look like they are anytime soon. Uh, you know, this is going to be very bad for them. I mean, they're able to get another score out of that. Right there, Aztecs needs a breakout, close their front door, and you know they really need to get some kind of map presence because oh, oh man, Kivi is going oh in goodness. right now too. Kivi pulling off him. That was a map awareness there. You knew he was ready for it. It looks like they're actually going to lose a point as one of the Aztecs team has got through. Kivi having used an entire clip to drop that one down. Now we're going to push forward once again. SK coming in hot as Kivi's putting shots down. His teammates are coming in. He picks up that one anyway, and it just seems like all the gunfights are all about SK. He is just on fire. After that search and destroy game, I mean, we said he was a little bit down on that dom. I mean, he's come to life right now. I mean, he's definitely woken up. I mean, maybe he was a little bit sleepy coming that first game a little maybe. bit early. But, I mean, right now, I mean, he is on fire, man. Five and one. They certainly are. Now Rock's going to push forward. And you can actually see they're setting up their battle line once again. And they're looking for the wave of kills. And they're so ready for it. They're so ready. Look at that. Raiden with a two-piece. Quickly pick up another one. Three down. And they're just putting shots here. You can see how pumped they are. But the pre-fire going in as they pick it up. It's now 4-1. Front door is open as well. Rocks will probably move in there. They're going to try to get this spawn trap on, which we talked about a little bit in the Dom. But on Blitz, it's, it's an absolute nightmare. Oh, and that's huge kills right there from Rocks. Able to get Earth. another cap. And, you know, right now, you know, the, the problem with the Aztec team is they're just letting the SK guys just walk through that front door. They need to get that door closed, and they need to make a strong push into the white building 
you know, spawn SK back left crates and, you know, just get some kind of map presence. I'm interested by the SK players. So they're, like they're not taking this game lightly at all. They're actually making sure they clean house before they move out. A lot of teams, when they're, yeah. they're kind of dominating in this fashion, would just absolutely decimate into their spawn every single time. You can actually see a trade going in now at 6-2, but it's going to be SK all up in the face of Aztecs once again, and they're just running over them. Yeah, and the, the problem for Aztecs right now is, you know, they're getting, you know, these trade caps. They're getting, you know, one or two caps but they're, you know they're not able to just get any type of just closing the lead at all you know they're just you now SK is playing the smart they're letting them just overextend and uh -huh. they're just going to take control of their base cuz the way you got to look at it Bryce is if if we get two down and then y you guys cap that's pretty much like getting three down yeah it is and it's, it's kind of interesting to see how they're playing it. I mean like I was expecting SK to be more aggressive but what's actually happening yeah. here is they are taking their time to lock down the map after every single push. They're not just, you know, drip feeding in. They're not going one in every single time. They're waiting. They're taking map control back, and they're just pushing them again. Yeah, and I mean, look at Rox. He's 10-1 yeah, on a 9-3. And I mean, he is just destroying. I mean, clumsy right there. I mean, Rox is just making people look silly out here today. He is going to get this one. No, eventually goes down as we jump on board with him. Let's see what Raiden can do now. Pushing up. Can he try and get another capture to his name? He has got four the most on anybody on this team. And he's just looking. Like I said, every single time, they're locking it down. They're not They're not taking anything for granted. They're not pushing forward. They're not letting, you know, a weakness. They refuse to let Aztec back in this game at all. Absolutely. They're playing extremely effective. You know, they're able to get mid-map hold it down for a little bit, pick up two or three kills, and then that's when they flood and just try and get a wave of caps. Uh -huh. You know, there's no sense to just keep pushing out, pushing out, and just not getting anything in reward for you. You're not, you're not holding any map control. You're not really getting any advantage. I mean, right here you see Kiwi. He's going to pick up two kills mid-map. Uh, you know, he's trying to make a little bit of a push there. Couldn't make anything, but, I mean, look at Afro for Aztecs. He's playing extremely defensive. I mean, they're not going to be able to get out of their base playing this defensive. So this is what I think is happening with Aztecs at the moment. They're yeah. worried. They said even when they make these kills, even one player is forcing them to go back, and they're just not pushing it. They need to be very no. aggressive, take SK off their game, and really go for it. There we go. Now they've got in 10-4 at the moment. They're still in this one, but I think they need to step up their game. They need to push forward and try to put SK on the back foot to get some caps under the belt. Absolutely. You, know, you see the Aztec team, they're playing. They're, they're just scared to give up caps You know, uh -huh. when you're watching them play. They're just playing too much defensive, and you know, even though they're playing so defensive, they're still giving up caps. Yeah. So uh, they need to be more aggressive. If one player from SK gets in, so be it. You can trade. You can actually trade those caps and actually get a line of more consistent play if you can just be more aggressive. Well, that's how a lot of top teams play this map, don't they? They go for the trade, and then if they can win the trade and try to get map control after it, they know they're going to out-trade the other team. It's not about not letting them in at all. It's just about you making sure that you're winning that yeah. numbers game. Yeah, and, you know, it's all about the numbers game, as you're saying. And, you know, this second half for the Aztecs is going to be extremely difficult, you know, because they can't afford to let SK o overextend. Uh -huh. And then also at the same time, they can't let SK just run into their base. But, you know, they need to play extremely aggressive, and they can't afford to trade either. So, you know, you may have to give up one or two caps to try and get a spawn trap, yeah. get a good spawn trap for a few seconds, get two or three caps, and do it again. Well, this is it. You let one person pass, but you get the spawn trap, you can easily get two or three off. Absolutely. And that's what they need to do. They need to realize that being defensive means that realistically what we're doing is slowing down the caps from the other team because they weren't stopping it. No. But you're not able to get any caps you've your own, so you're going to lose regardless. That is a, a losing strategy. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Blitz is all about aggression. I think when, when Ghost first started as a game, you know, a lot of people were, they didn't know really how to play Blitz. And as it's gone on, this is the most exciting game mode, I think, to watch in Call of Duty Ghost. Well, this is the entire thing here. The, the, the key to playing this game is actually in the title, Blitz. Yeah. Just aggression. Go for them. Out trade them, and there we go. We actually see Aztecs doing really well at the moment. They've kind of locked this one down. However, Rox with a two piece has stopped them dead, and he missed that one. He's, oh, not get the turn on. Clumsy is going to go down there. I thought he was going to do it, but Rox still holding it down as we jump on board with him. He's 17 and 5 with four captures. Yeah, so right there, that wasn't too bad for SK. You know, they gave up a cap, but they were able to get three dead, and then, you know, the cap guy kind of spawns in again. So that's kind of like having four dead, and you see Rox able to go up into their base and just get full map control right now. And Izzy is going to eventually die there now on board. Let's jump on board with someone close to the action. It's going to be quickie. He's up top. He's trying to set up here. Going to get... No, doesn't get that second kill. He's going to drop. And he's going to try and go around the back and get there. His teammate's in there as well. His teammate actually goes in quickie. He's still causing so many problems. He's still alive. Eventually going to go down. Aztecs trying desperately to clean house. 
Yeah, right there. I mean, Quickie pretty much was responsible for one of those caps down low because, you know, the Aztecs were just worried about him so much in their base that they doubled back looking for him outside, inside. And, you know, one of the players from SK was able to just walk right through the front door and yeah. just score. So anyway, now Afro trying to put a shot down. He's going to go. Rock still doing massive damage at 21 and 6. Going to go down. Curse of the castle when we jump to him. Now on board with Raiden. And he's going to try and get out there. He's going down as well. Quickly now we're on board with Aztec. Certainly coming back in this one. They are not dead yet. We have seen comebacks before. And it's currently at 14 to 7. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're seeing a little bit of a comeback right here out of the Aztecs. I like the way they're playing in the second half. And I mean, right there, Quickly just able to take out Afro. And you see the power of the vector, Bryce. Yeah. You know. Just that hip fire and just the range with the red dot sight. I mean, it's just a great all around submachine gun. So there's Neil's there now trying to get onto the ball with that one. He's going to go down as well. So we're jumping on board with Afro. Let's see what he can do as he pushes. He's got his teammates with him. There's going to be an engagement here. He takes down Quiggy. He should be able to cap this one, but decides to go around the outside and play it safe. Doesn't mean he needs to probably pick up one more kill. His teammate's going to come in at the same time, though. His teammate should be able to get that one. He has, and now he's setting up for the spawn trap. Right, so right now they're setting up for the spawn trap, but like we were saying before, they can't afford SK to trade because right now they're really not gaining any much of a lead, if anything. And right there, I would have liked to see him just not challenge that. Probably just yeah. sneak by because, I mean, you could have been really he bad if he, yeah, if he died. But up. right now they can't afford to give up caps. they got to be super aggressive. Yeah, that's it. He could have gone one way or the other, and he kind of hesitated. If he'd gone for the kills and let his team come in, then that would have been a great strategy. If he just snuck pie, we would have got the cap. But he actually, he was looking to probably make a kill before he got into the point, and that could have gone disastrously wrong, and I could have got nothing. He was lucky then. Yeah, absolutely. He got really lucky there, and you know, you're going to see this him get another mode. cap. This is definitely a comeback mounting right here. It's going to be all about just map control for the rest of this game. You know, Aztecs needs to keep up the pressure. I love the pressure we're seeing the second half from them. So now, now on board with Clumsy, the guys, 16 and 12. Jumping on board with Neos, he's 24 and 21. Let's see if they can come back into this. They are trading. They're only three down now. That's 21 seconds to tie it up. They need to continue pushing forward. And here we go, Neos trying to make the shot. He is going to get another kill here. Now they're going to try and move in. They are, look at this, SKR stacking their home portal. Yeah, and you know, right here, I, I don't exactly agree with the play from SK. I like, the, I like that you should be more aggressive with well, your pushes. I think that you should... Definitely not just sit turtle in your base and you should push out. There's no reason to camp your blitz goal like that. SK, look like they're just trying to dig in and hold on. They're being very, very desperate here. Raiden coming in. He's managed to get that kill. That's going to be a big kill for them as well. Another 10 seconds that they're going to lose here, Aztecs, but they have to push forward now. This is coming down to the wire. 31 seconds to try and tie it up. 41 if they want to win it. They have to get a portal. Yeah, you know, they need to get a portal really quickly. And you see SK, I mean, just effectively trading in the middle of the map. And right there, we're going to see a cap from SK. And that puts it away right there, Bracey. Yeah, it does actually put it away there. The cap has put it out of contention. And it does mean that SK will win their first game 3-0. And you know what? For a minute there, I thought we were going to see a massive comeback from Aztec. Uh, they weren't able to do it. Yeah, you know, it was a very good comeback in the second half. If they would have played like they did in the second half in the first half of that blitz, they probably would have taken that. I thought they played extremely well yes. in the second half. They played a ton more aggressive, and they got more map control. But, you know, that first half against SK killed them. I mean, look at Kivy going 28 and 19, Quickie going 24 and 23, and Rox going 25 and 10 with seven caps just, just putting on the work in this game. They really did put up the numbers. And I said, I was kind of surprised that SK changed tack there. They just kind of went defensive. Now, a lot yeah. of teams, when they're that far ahead, will actually go full aggression. Yeah. They will just try to trade it away. Because every time you trade, it's 10 seconds off of that timer that the enemy team can't realistically get back. You can actually just keep it going. Absolutely. I think the way that you have to play Blitz is that when you're up, you need to stay aggressive. Because yeah. if you don't stay aggressive, you know that that leads to you getting spawn uh -huh. trapped. And you know, when you see a lot of teams, they play Blitz, and you know they're just kind of sitting in their base, that's usually when you see just bad things happen. It certainly is. However, there we go. SK, first game of the day, have come away with a 3-0. Great start for their run for the championship. And you know what? We're going to be back with another game very, very shortly.